Big Daddy here, and today we're going to take a look at Ubuntu Mate 1704 Beta. So the final release is about 10 days away, but if you update the beta, you're pretty much getting what you're going to get with the final release, with the exception of maybe one or two minor things. But the bulk of everything is going to be the same. So let's take a look at what we got. So right now I'm running one of the new layouts that they have. And if you come in here, you always had Cupertino and Fedora and Redmond, a couple other ones. But I'm on the Pantheon layout, which is a new one. And what that does is it enables the brisk menu by default. So you'll notice that the advanced menu is grayed out, but if you switch to Cupertino, it will be available. The reason it's grayed out is because of Brisk being the default menu. The Brisk menu itself got an update or two, uh, one of them being where you can right click and hit edit menus and you can actually edit the menu itself. And you'll also notice that it has a new theme. So let's go look at it. So the normal default theme used to be the ambient mate. And it was a decent theme. And they had the, the black mate as well. But the ambient mate dark is pretty much one of the best themes that have come out lately. And I'm not a guy that usually likes a green theme. Green is not my color. But I have run this and let it on because it looks so good and because it's integrated so well with everything. And I'm getting used to it. I'm getting used to the green part about it. The dark part goes great with everything. No matter which uh, program you have open, no matter what, you, what you're doing, the menus, they all integrate and go cohesively across everything, everywhere. I think it's one of the best themes that have come out in a long time. Um, the icons themselves have been reworked by the elementary guys to give more polish to them. And I think it shows. And that's what this release is mostly about, is refinement. So the last release was about porting everything over to GTK3. This release is about making everything work with GTK3 and work with it well and integrate it together. And it shows all across the board, no matter where you're at, it shows that there's been a lot of finishing touches put on this. So along with that comes the welcome screen. And, you know, it's just little refinements here and there. And you've seen the Ubuntu Mate welcome screen before. And the core of it is nothing new. It's still a great welcome screen. You still got all of these extras. But if you'll notice, the animations have slowly gotten better and better and better to the point where it looks like a modern looking awesome desktop. You have the software boutique where it just adds finishing touches to it. So you could always come in here and pick a program and click install and it would install but now the the bulk queue is enabled by default so it's not just going to immediately install something when you hit the button you can you're able to now go down and click install and now you continually go down pick all of the software that you want and then click on the bulk queue and hit apply changes now it'll end up asking me for my password but it just then goes through the install process of every, each and every program that you've picked. And, I mean, that is an awesome feature. Now, it was always there, but it was not enabled by default. So now they've enabled it, and it's just one more feature that makes it great. And one other thing, and you have your finished here. Now it shows you successfully installed, so you know it's done. And you hit finished. Now, the one thing I did want to say was we had um, at Destination Linux, the podcast, we had Martin Wimpress, uh, and we talked to him for quite a long time. And he was such a, a great guest to have on, not just because of he's Martin Wimpress, but because he was so 
patient and gracious with us for situations that happen, like the phone call that in the middle of that I had ring in the middle of this interview. Uh, just he was a great guy to actually talk to. And I really appreciate that. But while I was talking to him, I had this brainstorm, this great idea for Software Boutique. And, you know, you come in here and you're clicking on certain tabs and you're scrolling through programs and you're clicking on another tab and you're scrolling through programs. So I said to him, look, I got a great idea. Why don't you have a grid view on here so that people who have used this before can go faster in their install process so they can just have a grid view, see little boxes and just start checking boxes. And immediately he thought this was a great idea as well. And he started typing on his computer and within, I'd say 10 seconds, he said, it's there. I think that's what happened. Maybe what happened was he just told me that it was already there. Because all you have to do is maximize the window and you pretty much get a grid view like I was talking about. Huh. <laughs> you learn something new every day. Uh, I guess Michael Tunnell, uh, one of the producers of the podcast, integrated this into the software boutique and I think it's a great idea. I just didn't know it was there. And... Maybe I knew and I just forgot. I don't know. But either way, I didn't remember that it was there. And I still think that there should be a little button to say that there's a grid view so that you know that there's a grid view. Because obviously, for people who don't know, like myself, I didn't know there was a grid view until you maximize the window. So I still think there should be a button there. But either way, another awesome feature in the software boutique. So let me go back to the getting started and see the system specifications for this. So uh, we're looking at a, an i7 and 16 gigabytes of RAM and a GTX 960. It's also installed on a partitioned solid state drive, so it's not a virtual box. And it runs sweet and smooth. And I get, I'm get i getting this because I keep making videos and I don't clear out the space, but I'm just going to hit ignore. So ignore that ever happened. This version, this 1704 Mate 1.18, is one of the smoothest ones that have come out. And I would suggest that no matter what distribution you're running, if it's XFCE, GNOME, or like myself who runs KDE, I would suggest that you download this and give it a try. Because I really, truly believe that you're going to like it. It is getting better and better and better. And it is to the point where it is awesome. Try it out. Take a look at it. And then come back in the comments and tell me what you think. We'll have a discussion about it. Because to me, it's pretty much awesome. Until next time, Big Daddy out.